What's up guys, Grim here bringing you the third edition of the Godlike Arena Tournament and this time it's the 5v5. We've got a stat card up and down full of the best PvPers in the game right now and I hope you guys are going to enjoy the show. We've had a last minute replacement however. Uh, we had one of the teams dropped out which was, uh, let's see, what was the team that dropped out? It was Girls Carried by Ave. It was Shandell Handicapable, uh, Avelis, and Lyadel, as well as Cyrillian? I guess so. Is that how you pronounce it? But uh, that team has been replaced by Team Landslide. Landslide, Panic, Mr. Studley, Violin, and Dernwin. Dernwin. Okay, there we go have to pronounce these names last minute so uh, how are you guys doing today are you ready for some PvP action give me some feedback because I need to be able to talk to you guys <laughs> yes I am pronouncing your name probably absolutely wrong but Hopefully I'll get it better as we go along here. Ah. Well, we did have a secondary commentator, which was supposed to be Torrid, but apparently he hasn't shown up, so I may be flying solo, guys. Yeah, apparently it is a solo commentating. In case you guys are not aware, the teams are 1v1 owned, which is Anorxy, Ganked, Slow Shots, Revert, and Anticity. Uh, go Hard or Go Home, which is Cupcakey, Viral, Morg, Naked Stone, and Nephi. And of course, Team Landslide, which I have already read the names off on and also the let's see we got one two three and the fourth team is broken which is Garganto uh, Asharna Hostile uh, Postal uh, BZ and Repthor so that's our lineup guys Don't get someone who is clueless about PvP. Well, all of the people that come into the live stream know a little bit about PvP, or they'd be watching that raid live stream that's probably two channels over, you know. Alright guys, uh, we're waiting on the first match to be lined up, and I'm sure they're going to let me know. Let's see, we probably got the matchups already in hand. Yeah, the first matchup is going to be 1v1 own versus Team Landslide. So the last minute replacement is getting put into the fire right off the bat. We had a lot of problems with the last uh, tournament with the commentary. There was a lot of hiccups and yeah, hopefully we fixed it this time. We'll see. You guys may enjoy it. You may tell me after this tournament it was terrible, but... Is a match underway here? Yes, they've already started the match. Wow, okay. Landslides team and 1v1 owned is underway. Wow, that one started without me even knowing it was about to happen. Alright, let's see what we got going here. Mr. Studley is getting a lot of pressure from Antisti and ganked. So, has anybody went down? They're right underneath me. It's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on here. And Orxy doing some excellent healing. I see pretty much no one is very low in health. Even though the awesome DPS of 1v1 owned as we've seen in the last tournament was insane. 
So for them not to have anybody near death right now is saying something about the healing on on the opposite team, Team Landslide. Slow shots. Once again, run the physician build. And he's absolutely doing a great job of staying away from the pressure and making sure that he's not getting targeted. Revert, half health, almost getting really low there, but the heels, man, the heels just make him go right back up. And, wow, well, this 5v5 is definitely showing a strength in healing right now. The burst isn't as potent as the other matchups, so it's obvious that the it's going to be an attrition battle where a lot of doms will be dominating this and uh, energy, mana sapping, all that good stuff will be very important. And down goes... I didn't see who went down right then. Gang taking a little bit of pressure, but the DPS is going on really strong onto Mr. Studley there. He's trying to kite around, but yeah, he's doing a great job of it. And Tisty taking some damage, but the heals are still hitting him pretty good. Gank getting healed up by a Norxy there. Gang's still trying to put on pressure on to Mr. Studley, but he's getting a lot of damage in return now. All the pressure seems to be put on Mr. Studley. I don't see him staying up much longer. Antisty and Ganked is just not letting up on him one bit, and they use a lot of the mana draining from the rogue souls, so yeah. His man is probably about to be out and death is coming up. About, oh, went down to about 10% life there, but happened to get picked right back up by the cross healing. Revert, getting a lot of pressure onto him, but he seems to be alright at the moment. Mr. Studley still getting all the pressure put onto him by a... Na and Nisty and uh, ganked. It's basically a show of seeing if Mr. Studley can stay alive during all of this. Panic doing a good job of going in there and applying some pressure as well. Wow, it's really hard to see what's going on whenever they're running right below me the entire time. Mr. Studley still being pressured and is he going down? Oh, he's barely staying alive and he goes down there. So there goes a major healing from uh, Landslide's team down now. 1v1 owned is definitely showing a lot of DPS and putting the pressure on the healers. And Norxy getting a lot of pressure on himself now. Mr. Studley was combat rezzed and still getting the pressure being put on him by the same two people. Chat wants me to zoom out. You guys don't want the first person view? Here, I'll, re I'll remove myself from the overlay. How about this? Does that help, guys? Violin at about 40% life, but ha managed to go back up to around the 60% area. But he is staying low right now as they redirect all of their heals.
trying to pay attention to what you guys are saying over there as well. So I'm not commentating as hard into the match whenever I'm trying to see the feedback so I know exactly how to adjust my screen and everything. Panic getting some pressure on him. And once again, they're right below me. It's really hard to see what's going on once they're right below me there. Panic getting a lot of damage being put on him, but his team is already really crippled by using up all their combat reses. And Slow Shot's doing a good job of just staying over to the side and keeping the heals flowing. Violin's going down just in short order now. It's, it's a wipe-up crew right now. Very good job by 1v1 own there. And the first match is under uh, is over. And this is the best 3 out of 5. So they have several chances of coming back. Getting a little bit of drop frames. So let me adjust this a little bit for you guys. All right, put myself back in the camera until the next uh, team up here. Now, is the UI okay for you guys? Let me know what's going on. I want to know if I need to adjust it somewhat. Give me some feedback, guys. You told me ten times what? <laughs> Quit talking about the bannings, guys. Nobody's going to get banned. This is a PvP channel, man. You guys are going to be PvP and in the chat all you want now. Yeah, should I go into third person though? That was one of the major complaints of the last tournament is that I started it off with the third person point of view. We're not dropping frames anymore, are we? I don't think so. Why did you get banned last time? Because it was going pretty crazy and I was trying to talk to you guys. I asked for some help with the moderation. And uh, I guess people kind of took it bad and it went wrong. But this time it's not going to be happening. Everybody's going to play cool and no, no moderation on this stream. You guys PvP all you want in the chat. I don't care. I'm going to look over and I'm going to talk to you guys. So... I don't care if you guys are making fun of my shirt. I don't care if you're making fun of my hair. We're just going to talk. One v one owned the first match there, and both teams are signaling that they're ready. So I'm going to try it in the third person point. Of well, should I stay in first? Yeah, I'll I'll be removing myself from the from the uh, UI there. I'm just putting myself in it in between matches. That way you can see me talking to you. My shirt looks nice this evening. Thank you. Uh oh. And the match is about to be underway here. They have been given the okay. So. 1v1 owned is entering the match and landslides team is in now too. I wonder if the pressure is going to stay on the Mr. Studley. That seemed to be the key in the last match. So 
Yeah, look at the damage being put onto Mr. Studley right now. The amount of DPS coming from 1v1 ganked is just insane. And it was in the last tournament. It's going to continue to be in this one. That's obvious. Mr. Studley still sitting at half life and fighting to keep alive right now. And down he goes. Wow. That is an absolute crazy amount of burst right then. I don't even know what to say to that one. He just went down so fast right there. Revert taking a lot of damage, but he seems to be kept up pretty good. Landslide nearly going down. He went ahead and went into split personality, running the Dom spec there. Man, they are not letting up on landslide right now. Look at look at all the squirrels chasing him right now. That squirrel action. Is that kind of ironic that the Dom is getting attacked by squirrels right now? Landside still getting all the pressure being put on him by ganked and anticity. Yeah, the landslide is definitely the number one target here. They're trying to control the Dom. Uh, Antisti off to the side. He must have been stunned right there. And Norksy is squirreled. Landslide is doing a pretty good job of keeping the squirreling going up. Revert was squirreled right there as well. Need to be able to pronounce these people's names better. It's kind of hard for me to commentate whenever the person's name is a little bit difficult to say. Landslide still getting a lot of pressure onto him. It's obvious they're going to be utilizing the mana drain and all of that and trying to keep all the pressure onto him until he doesn't have any mana at all. But that's kind of a dom game there. He can turn around and drain their energy in exchange. Dernwern or Dernwin, I guess is what you would say his name is. He's being controlled as well right now. Yeah, Dern Win. That's how that's how you pronounce it. A lot of ranged fighting going on here. Ganked and uh, and Anticity is keeping the melee DPS up, but a lot of it is being played from a ranged point of view right now. The story of this later half of this match is basically is Landslide going to survive? because all the pressure is being put on him the other team doesn't seem to be feeling any kind of real pressure right now and this is pretty hard for team landslide I mean they were a last minute replacement and everything that they're doing was not planned at all their game plan was not solidified before the match it's basically them making it up as they go and if they do well during this tournament it'll say something about them being able to come up with a strategy last minute slow shots off to the side healing all he wants and that's pretty much the story that's always been with land uh, with uh, slow shots he's stayed off to the side in every match we've seen him in and basically really stayed by the pillar most of the time to where he didn't have to worry about much damage and can line of sight yeah, I'm sure the energy is drained from ganked and anticity right now, and they're still trying to put on a pressure, but it's kind of hard to do it with no energy. And once again, landslide is running for his life getting stunned and getting a lot of rogue DPS being put onto him and Orxy doing a good job of staying off to the side and healing as well as slow shots are basically side by side out there healing all they want Panic receiving a good amount of damage now.
mage cage on the violin there, and Orxy is just not not having to worry about anything back there. He's healing away and not worrying about anything basically. And if you guys were curious about the classes being run with this matchup here, I'll go ahead and read them off since we're kind of at a little bit of a standstill here with the match. Uh, we got Team Landslide, which is Landslide a Mage, obviously, Panic a Rogue, Mr. Studley a Cleric, Violin a Rogue, and Dern Dernwin, which is a Mage. And the opposite team, 1v1 owned, is a Norksy, which is a Cleric, Ganked a Rogue, Slow Shots a Rogue, Revert Mage, and Intisti Warrior. So he's obviously running, pro well, probably running the Paragon build that's so good with the single target DPS and PvP right now. It seems to be a little bit of the flavor of the month right now because Warriors are really focusing on that single target DPS. Warlord is not getting used as much as it used to and in this tournament and past tournaments Paragon has reigned supreme. Revert, going into split personality there. The Dom action is pretty heavy on both sides, and as you can see, it's a little bit of a standstill. And this is the two-minute warning has already been called. So, as you can tell, the adjustments have been made so that the matches do not last as long as they did in the last tournament. We're trying to make improvements all the time, guys. And the squirrels have been brought out once again by Landslide. And he's focusing on the revert. Uh oh, we're going to see Dom versus Dom combat off to the side. Gank charging in at Dernwin right now. They have swapped targets, and Dernwin is getting all the pressure done by Ganked and Antisti right now. Panic is trying to help out his, his teammate there, but. I don't know how easy it will be to peel off those guys. And Revert has been squirreled, landslide, obviously trying to control the other Dom. And there you go, Dernwin getting mana drained right there, right before our eyes. The, the mana wrench was real right then. Yeah, both sides seem to be drained really well right now, and it doesn't seem like it's going to go much further in this, in this at this pace, so to say. Mr. Studley is out of the match, but still, it seems like the Doms are the story of this match. Landslide going down to 50% health. The burst is being switched to him, but is it going to be enough? And that is time, guys. I do believe the match is going to be called, and yes, 1v1 ganked has won the second match because now we're going by kills. If it does not end with one team, dominating the other and wiping them out the match will be called for the team that had the most kills so what do you guys think about that one Yeah, that was one of the main uh, complaints about the past tournaments. It, well, the last one in particular is that the matches just went way too long. So in order to try to determine a winner without it going, we had a match go an hour and 20 minutes before. So now we kind of go by kills if it goes to a draw at the end. So...
Yeah, we're really sorry to see you not in this tournament. Avelis, you were very good in the past ones, and we really miss you in this one, man. <laughs> Real PvP is in the chat. What? Thank you, sir. Thank you. And we're in the two minute cooldown period where everybody gets to wait for their cooldowns to come up. And once they're ready, both teams will signal that they are ready and then we'll go into the next match. Real PvP is on the forums. That's probably why I don't frequent the forums enough. I, I'd get demolished there. My skills aren't real on the forums. Everyone's banned on the forums. Well, I guess that's Tryon's point of view of it. Well, if there's problems on the forums, don't worry about it, guys. I mean, that's kind of a whole nother area. This is the tournament, so, yeah. The forum stuff doesn't really transfer over to here. Nobody's going to get banned. No moderation. We're just basically going to roll with this event and try to have some fun. So don't focus on any of the negative stuff that you guys might be seeing elsewhere because we're just here to have a good time. And let's see, 1v1 ganked has signaled that they are ready and we're just waiting for Landslide's team. And as you can, you guys already know, it's 2-0 for 1v1 owned. So, yeah, they have only need one more win to move on to the next round. I lift things up and put them down. Alright, and the fireworks there means that the next round is ready to go here. Both teams are about to enter the match. Oh boy, and the charge right off the bat goes right into it. And Tisty showing a lot of DPS from the Warrior spec there. It's and Orxy getting a lot of pressure this time. Oh, the strategy has changed. And Orxy is no longer being able to just stand off to the side and heal at will. What's this? Panic getting a lot of pressure as well here. And Tisty and Gank putting the pressure on him. And Revert getting low in health. Wow, the strategy is definitely different. Slow Shot's getting low in health there. This match is definitely different than the first two. The strategy has been changed up. I think they know what the other team is going to do now, and they're adjusting for it. Dernwing going into the Harbinger uh, DPS pop there and doing some good DPS. Revert trying to kite around. He's obviously getting a lot of damage, but slow shots also taking the damage. They're switching up targets really good. I imagine the CCs are going on really hard out there and they're hard swapping targets. And wow, look at Mr. Studley. He went down to almost 50% life there. And Orxy now getting the cast off to the sides with slow shots. 
mage cage being used on the violin to keep CC going on him. And Norxy going down to half life. This is definitely a different match from the first two. And as you can see, Revert is obviously changed up spec going with the pyro build now. The fireballs are flying. And I imagine the burst DPS is going to be pretty crazy on the Mr. Studley now, which is the target. And Orxy getting a lot of damage done to him right now. They're putting a lot of pressure on the healers of 1v1 own now, which wasn't the case in the first two matches. Mr. Studley now getting a lot of pressure being put on him. And he's, is he, wow. What? He went from 100% life. He healed himself up to 100% life and bam, went down almost instantly. And Dernwin going back into the Harbinger proc there or uh, ability should I say to increase his DPS by a lot revert is the target for him trying to control that uh, pyro burst there landslide going down to about 50 percent health and kind of juggling oh he almost went down he went to about 15 to 20 percent life and managed to get right back up but Landslide trying to kite, but he's got a Paragon Warrior and a DPS melee rogue on him. I'm kind of curious, is Gank running a Nightblade spec? Uh, I imagine it's probably a Nightblade Assassin mixture. Applying the bleeds and making sure that the burst is still good from the Nightblade, which is insane burst. But pair that along with the Pyro Mage shooting like Revert is, and yeah, those three types of DPS hitting one target is just going to be insane. Slow Shot still doing great with the Physician heals off to the side. Landslide getting charged by the Rogue and the Warrior once again. Violin running the physician spec it looks like so he's doing a lot of the heals on landslides team now Revert getting quite a bit of pressure, but he seems to be healing up just fine Landslide is once again the target. It's kind of interesting seeing the Seeing him run with all the squirrels behind him. It's definitely a nice flair for the match here. Violin CC'd off to the side, some blinding powder or something going off onto him. And Orxy casually healing off to the side. Wow, Landslide goes down. You've seen the pyro burst hitting him right then, and the the amount of DPS just unloaded on him was pretty crazy to say the least panic trying to line aside as the entity and ganked is focusing on him and he goes down as well well it looks like the 1v1 crew is probably gonna clean up this match here and that will be the third win for them if they can pull it off here and down he goes Dernwin being the only one left alive is most likely going to have a short lifespan right now. Yep. And that's the match for 1v1 owned. The first round is over, guys. Very good job by the winning team to pull it off 3-0. The second match was almost a standstill and went to timer but the one death on landslides team kinda with the new rules sealed the deal so to say so is this is this tournament going a little bit how you guys expected or did you uh, hope that landslide and his crew could do a little bit better like I said they were a last-minute replacement it's really hard for them to go against the winning team from the last tournament their first round 
it was a lot of pressure onto them, to put it plainly. And Norksy is OP? Yes, I hear that quite often. And I'm starting to believe it. That was a great match right there. In our second matchup is going to be Go Hard or Go Home versus Broken. And Go Hard Go Home is, of course, Cupcakey the Cleric, Viral the Rogue, Morg the Rogue, Naked Stone the Warrior, and Nephi the Warrior. So this is Double Rogue, Double Warrior, One Cleric. And these are the guys that won the first tournament, so we know they're really good right off the bat. And then the other team is Broken, which is Garganto, which is a Cleric, Escher... Asharna, which is a rogue. Hostile, hostile apost Apostle? Okay, there you go. Apostle. Okay, I see where he's going with that name. And he is a mage. Beezy, which is a warrior. And Reptor, which is a warrior. And I've run in a lot of matches against all of these people. And I know that they're very, very good at what they do. Now, as we're waiting for the next match here, make sure that you guys all go to a amazing channel called YouTube.com Grim Gaming Rift. It has all your PvP needs, and you will absolutely love all of the content there, including my beautiful face that you guys are asking me to take out the UI all the time. So we will be going back into the match here and they're asking for both teams to give the ready signal and we should be underway shortly after. All right, Morg has signaled that his team is ready, so we're going to go ho and go ahead and go and get ready for this next matchup. Get my ugly grill out of the screen so you guys can watch the real action. We're just waiting for the ready signal from uh, the opposite team, which is Broken. And, yeah, they're running a mage on the Broken team, so it's uh, probably going to be running a Dom spec since the melee is very heavy on Go Hard or Go Home. And Garganto has given the ready sign from his team. Just waiting for the lovely fireworks to pop up, and that is go time, guys. They will be entering just shortly, and in goes Morg. Reptor running along the outer lines there, and where is the pressure going to be put on to? Naked Stone is going right after the healer there, or no, the Dom. It's Hostile Apostle. He's getting all the all the damage being put onto him Morg, Viral and uh, Naked Stone are all on the same target right now you can see Reptor going after Cupcakey and she went down to half health and staying at half health right now the stuns are real on that side BZ uh, also helping with the DPS on the Cupcakey off to the side Garganto is free casting as well as Asharna Nephi, oh, is that a Tempest spec he is running? Hostile Apostle still getting a lot of pressure being put onto him from Morg. 
but he seems to be all right at the moment. Cupcakey definitely getting a lot of pressure putting on to her. Beezy helping out with the damage on the Cupcakey, and she's being CC'd and being pressured by the DPS like crazy. Hostile Apostle is trying to kite around all the melee on him, which is Naked Stone and Morg, and down he goes. Garganto is definitely taking a lot of pressure from Naked Stone and Morg once again. Nephi keeping the range casting going with the ranged warrior DPS. Repthor being mage caged off to the side. Asharna getting really low as well as Garganto. Garganto goes down. Beezy at 50% health trying to do a little bit of chitin and get away from Morg which is not letting up on him and it looks like it's yeah it's the cleanup crew now only rep Thor up interesting match interesting match and that's game number one for go hard or go home So, how do you guys like that one? That one was a fast, intense game. Ah, uh, don't be that way, War Construct. No, no, Toxic. It's kind of hard to insult the team that just won, though. They just proved that they're the winners, and the insults are kind of a little bit light on them once you see that they just beat the other team. Oh, it's really hard for me to do that, Puck, because I can't really target everybody and look at buffs. That kind of crams up the uh, UI for you guys. So, yeah, I'm kind of having to guess what the specs are as we're going along. So, but trust me, I do know my PvP, that's all I do, but it's kind of hard to guess beforehand whenever I'm not looking at buffs. They won because they run pre-mades? That's probably true, but isn't this a, a test of skill here? I mean, if one team is able to practice more and be better, isn't that the point of the tournament? Alright, both teams have signaled that they are ready and we're going once again into the match and let me get my face out of this. Alright guys, we're underway once again and the first match went to go hard or go home. Let's see if the strategy changes up with the opposite team. Nephi is still running the Tempest spec. As you can see, he's building up his combo points with the... Uh, the Static Shock, uh, I can't remember the exact ability from the Tempest Tree that does that, but it builds the combo points. I just made a video about a Tempest, so I should know what I'm talking about, but I forget. Morg putting the damage on the Hostile Apostle, and Garganto is off to the side trying to keep him healed up. Mage Cage on the Repthor, and a lot of pressure being put on to Nephi all of a sudden. He goes down to Half-Life, and... Cupcakey CC'd off to the side with the Dom Squirrel. 
Hostile Apostle almost going down there. He's barely keeping alive. He's managing to kite, but it's obviously very hard. Viral going down to half health right now. Being pulled back by BZ. The warrior action is real there. Morg being squirreled off to the side. Cupcakey able to free cast off to the side as well, sitting at around 80% life, but she's not getting pressured, so she's able to just focus on everybody else. BZ off to the side trying to take care of Viral. I imagine Viral has went into a physician soul then. Yeah, look, the pressure is being put on the Viral pretty good there. They're making sure Reptor and BZ are bold DPS in him like crazy. And he's trying to get away. Garganto at 50% life as well as Hostile Apostle. The DPS is really good on both teams. And pressure is being shared all around. And Hostile Apostle goes down. Reptor CC'd off to the side with the Mage Cage. Naked Stone and Morg putting a lot of pressure. Oh, is B yeah, BZ and Reptor are still chasing Viral off to the side here. Hostile Apostle has been rezzed up and Garganto is trying to get him healed up, but a lot of pressure is still being put onto him. Asharna free casting over to the side. Reptor mage caged once again. He is being controlled like crazy. And they're chasing Nephi around. They know that the Tempest is really squishy and they're making sure that they make him pay for every bit of DPS he's trying to do right now. All competitors seem to be healed up with many of them with shields on. And down went, uh, was that, uh, it was hard to see from this angle. Reptor Mage Caged once again. Garganto at 50% life and going down even faster. Reptor at about 40% life and still putting the pressure on the viral with BZ. It's hard to see a name frame behind that. I feel like I'm missing all of the kills because it's hard to see. Reptor down to 30% life and he goes down. So it's pretty obvious where this match is going. The the deaths have all been on uh, Garganto's team there with go hard or go home applying so much pressure and the healing was so good. I mean the the health bars were just shooting up and down the entire time. So that's a big it, it's it's just a lot to be contributed towards those healers and DPS all working together and keeping their team up but still dishing out a lot of pressure all the time. So what are you guys saying in chat now? One V one owned. So it's two O for go hard or go home, and now they're into the two minute cooldown and waiting for those cooldowns to come back up. <laughs> Talk to me guys, we only got a two minute cooldown break. I need to be able to respond to you guys. Or else this all gets cut out on my video. I want to post all the cool stuff that we talk about in between matches. People get moderation for many different reasons, mostly to uh, post links and stuff like that because they promote the events. 
Nalo Gel is asking for both teams to let him know when he's ready so that we can move into the next match. Whoa. The sky definitely changed right there. Nightblade or Assassin? Uh, it's hard to say. I imagine he's probably really heavy into Nightblade so that the burst is really high. Why am I no Paralord? Um, well, I probably should be. That's what everybody's doing right now. But we're going into the next match. I'll have to pick that conversation up with you afterwards. And as everybody's coming in, oh, the stealth. Look at that. All right, more going into Hostile Apostle now. I wonder how the specs have changed up now. BZ CC'd off to the side. Whoa, and one goes down. Wow, that was at the bottom of my screen. That DPS, my gosh. Garganto is also going down right now, but he's barely keeping alive. Reptor at 50% life as well. The DPS from uh, Go Hard or Go Home is just, man, is... Is that the best DPS so far that we've seen? I mean, uh, the 1v1 owns DPS was just really high, but this is just all of a sudden they're full life and dead right afterwards. Reptor CC'd off to the side with the Mage Cage and Garganto. Is he going to go down? Naked Stone and Morg putting all the pressure on him right now. <laughs> Yes, Garganto is down, and Hostile Apostle also out of the match right now. So Reptor goes down as well, and this is a quick, quick match. That is insane, guys. Wow. That is 3-0 game. Now, this 5v5 tournament is done a little bit different. It's not exactly on the wins and losses like a, a bracket system. It's more based on points. So, it's all about kills and stuff like that. So, we're going to be going into a little bit of a different format with this. And if you guys are interested in any of the rules or how this tournament is run, you can go to www.riftpvpdimensions.com and you'll see the 5v5 rules, which are a little bit different than the 3v3 rules. Oh, did I have my face in the middle of that match? I'm sorry, guys. And the third matchup, which we are going to be going into, is going to be Team Landslide versus Team Broken. So, Broken is going to be going right back into the fire with Team Landslide. And this format is, uh, once again, like I said, quite a bit different than the 3v3. Every team will face every team, so there will not be any team that does not face another one. Yes, please go to that website there that was just linked and go ahead and check out all the rules, all the prizes. There's a lot of cool things to be found there and you guys will really like the prize pool. Let me just go ahead and read the prize pool really fast. Alright, each team will receive 10 depleted supply crates, which is 2 per player. Each team captain will receive one Rex, which all of these Rex that are being given away in this tournament uh, as prizes were provided generously from Ominous Guild on Seastone. Thank you so much, Ominous Guild. You guys helped us out so much with this tournament. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. Uh, the team with the best record will receive 2,500 plat, which is 500 per player. 1,000 plat, generously donated by DJ Crystal of SI Radio. And two 160% token tablets per player.
And uh, let's see here. As we go down the third place, or let's see, if there is a two-team tie, then the team with the head-to-head -head victory wins. If there is a three-team tie, the plat will be divided. Uh, the second place team will get one 160% token tablet per player. Uh, the ready signs are being given, so I might need to turn around in a moment. But the third place prize uh, will receive one rune unsocketing apparatus per player, one 80% token tablet per player, and a dimension black garden key provided by Verity on Greenbrier. A uh, Greybrier, not Greenbrier, Greybrier. Thank you so much, Verity, for donating to the tournament. You guys are doing an excellent job helping us out. Yes, and Kalia is telling me that I have to do a halftime giveaway after this match. So, you guys want to win some wrecks? Because we always give away prizes. And let me just tell you what we're giving away in this tournament. We're giving away wrecks, you know, during, while the tournament is going. At the end of the tournament, we're giving away a Dream Soul bundle. So if, we'll, we'll get it to you guys, whoever wins, or if you already got it, find a friend you want to give it to or whatever sell it whatever you know whatever you want to do we're going to give it to you and yeah that's the big prize at the end and both teams have signaled that they are ready so let me get my face out of this one sorry about the last one whoa where'd the banners come from And the match is underway here. Repthor going to the front of the line. Hostile Apostle getting the squirrel off on the violin. We know what he is right off the bat now. We know he is a dom. Repthor putting the pressure on the landslide. And he is going down pretty fast but managed to heal up. And he's still getting a lot of pressure. But oh wow. What happened there? Landslide went instantly dead. Where did the DPS come from? Dernwin taking a lot of pressure from Repthor and Beezy, but he seems to be doing all right, though. Wow, landslide, flatline that fast. Panic getting pressured by Repthor and Beezy. Going down to 50% life, 30, 20, 10, and oh, he was able to heal up right then. Is he going to be able to kite? A lot of pressure being done there. Let's see. Dernwin casting over to the side without any interruption. Hostile Apostle now putting the pressure of, well, the CC onto Dernwin. And the Mana Wrench onto Mr. Studley there. Oh, Mr. Studley, did he go a Shaman spec? That's what it's looking like. Putting the pressure on Garganto. Violin trying to kite the pressure off of him, but it's looking pretty bad. They're not letting up on him one bit. Hostile Apostle being able to cast off to the side, whereas Asharna is able to cast heals freely. Garganto still getting the pressure being put on him. Panic. Whoa, he's going down fast. Is he going to die? No, he goes back up to 80%. And yeah, he survived that match. Mr. Studley going up to hit Garganto, but got CC'd the squirrel action right there. Hostile Apostle split personality. And off to the side over there is Dernwin free casting at will. Panic is CC'd with the squirrel off to the side as well. Garganto going down to about 60% life for a moment there, but shooting right back up. Violin being CC'd. Dernwin getting a lot of pressure being put onto him from Repthor and Beezy. Is he? Oh, he goes down. Yes, the CC off to the side on the healers was the, the nail in the coffin for him. Panic trying to, ca to kite a little bit, but Repthor and Beezy is not letting up on him. Mr. Studley casting at range back there. And he charges in into Garganto. 
To apply the pressure there, violin is mana wrenching, and uh, or or it may have been hostile apostle there. Yeah, it definitely wasn't violin since he's a rogue. I called that one wrong. Sorry, guys. Garganto taking a little bit of damage, but seeming to go right back up. Panic is at full life now. Mr. Studley, wow, look at the DPS going on to Mr. Studley. He went down to almost 20% life and shot right back up, whereas Violin is trying to keep his range going there. Obviously running the Physician Soul, keeping a range there as a rogue. And Mr. Studley goes down. Violin getting lots of pressure being put onto him once again by BZ and Reptor. Panic CC'd off to the side with the Dom Squirrel and Violin's just taking so much damage right now as well. Hostile Apostle focusing on Panic right now. Trying to drain him down to where, well, no, the CC now. But he's probably getting drained as well to prevent any kind of energy moves that he may be doing. What's he yelling out there? Uh, just spamming trash talk. Oh, they're all fighting right underneath me, making it a little bit harder to see. Hostile Apostle going into split personality and panic laughing as he's getting chased by everybody. Interesting match here. Violin trying to kite a little bit but it may be a bad thing whenever he's getting drained by the Dom. And down he goes. So that's a win for Broken there. Two minute cooldown time. Sorry, I was a little bit off on a couple of my calls there. All apologies. Do I have the power polo on today? Uh, I've got a polo, I believe. It's not the Charlie Brown one, though. Doing all right, Thunder. Thank you for tuning in once again. It's good to see you once again. Wait, who won? Come on, man. Hopefully you're watching Broken One. I better be watching for the fireworks or I'll get in trouble if the match starts and I'm not paying attention. I appreciate the compliment. I am new guy. Garganto is already signaling that they are ready. So after that win, they're ready to jump back in there and get the, uh, keep the trend going there. Uh, what guild do I uh, am I in? I am in my own guild, which is a very... I guess we're kind of intense PvPers, but we're not uh, rough on each other. We're not going to chew each other out and all that. And the guild is Grimm's Reapers on Wolfsbane. And the go sign has been given. So let me get my face out of this. Sorry, guys. All right. 
Once again, we're underway, and let's see here. Garganto healing off to the side. Hostile Apostle is most likely still running the Dom spec. It's been so beneficial for him, so it's hard to imagine that he's going to switch off. Mr. Studley now going back off to the healing specs once again. Shaman was not what he wanted to do this match. Dernwin, oh, is that a pyro mage over there? It sure looks like it. The flames are flying. Mr. Studley free casting off to the side. Dernwin getting a lot of pressure being put onto him from Reptor and BZ. They are not wanting the pyro action to be teed off with. Oh man, they're fighting right underneath me once again. Mr. Studley getting quite a bit of pressure being done on him. Oh, Dernwin really getting the pressure done on him. They are not liking that pyro action, I'll tell you that. Garganto keeping the heels going. Yes, as predicted, Hostile Apostle is still running the Dom spec. It's been doing so well for him. Oh, he went down to almost 30% health. Mr. Studley close to going down right now. Are they going to be able to finish him off? And they charge in. Oh, down he goes. Wow, really high DPS there. But he was low, so they had to catch him at the opportune time right then. Panic being really low right now. And he is definitely in, let's see, is he in a, looks assassin, I think. Garganto free casting off to the side. Oh, he's getting a little bit of pressure onto him now. Violin sitting at about 60 to 70 percent health now, going down to about 50 percent and trying to kite away. Oh, he's getting pulled in by Repthor. It's not looking good for Violin as he goes down. As predicted, it was a very bad situation for him with those two on him and landslide going down to 50 percent life now down to about 20 and he goes down and that's 2 0 -oh. wow really good match there a lot of pressure being put all around and a lot of fun to watch these matches aren't stringing out. Uh, you had the one match go to time, but we're making sure not to have the time limit be too high for you. What? Was he not running Pyro? Did I miss it? And this is the two minute cooldown break. Sure looked to me like Dernwin was running Pyro. Someone needs to run a shamey melee train with tank guard. <laughs> Aloe gel photo bombing. <laughs> right down there. That's the man running the tournament right now. Two shamey, two physicians, one dom. I can see that working possibly. Five night blades, five sins. Auto win. Pyrocon. 
I seen the flames flying, so I knew it was some kind of pyro build. <laughs> did you guys like the intro that I made for the tournament? How did you guys like that one? Landslide signaling that his team is ready right now. Oh, the fireworks are firing. That means the match is about to start. Let me get my face out of the way. Sorry about that, guys. And Repthor leading the charge up front and the first one to be squirreled. So, yeah, I imagine Landslide, he's the only mage on that team, I believe. So he has to be running the, the Dom spec once again. Repthor putting the pressure on the Landslide. Let's see, who do we got off to the side? Panic. So he's probably running the physician soul now. Apostle Apostle looks like the mana wrench or the, the energy drain should I say going there. Seems to be all of them crowded up so the AOE is hitting the ground. Look at that. Interesting. And Violin almost dead. Repthor and BZ focus targeting really well. Mr. Studley free casting off to the side. I imagine he is into a healing. No, he's charging in. Did he go shaman once again? Dernwind. CC'd off to the side with the squirreling because he is providing a little bit too much heals for the other team's liking. Repthor keeping pressure on to Mr. Studley, but he is going down fast. Mr. Studley being pressured a lot right now. All of them are swarming him and making sure that he is going to be running for his life. Really good CCs being done by the Doms. As you can see, multiple squirrels, although it was the split personalities that are squirreled. What's going on there? Is that some tab targeting gone wrong? And as you can see, the flames flying from Dernwin once again. So, as people in the chat said, it's probably a Pyrocon, but not real sure it doesn't seem like the crazy burst is coming out so there goes the double fireball from the proc landslide being cc'd with the squirrel and panic being squirreled right now Repthor being rooted where he stood and taking a lot of damage in the meantime Garganto doing a good job of healing off to the side. Making sure that his team broken is staying alive. Asharna being CC'd now. And Panic taking so much damage from Repthor and BZ. They're doing such a good job of focusing their DPS and dishing it out in a bursty fashion. And the flames are flying at Repthor right now. Is the pressure going to be kept on him or are they going to switch targets? Dernwind's still targeting Repthor. Oh, now on to Landslide. He's getting a lot of pressure done him. Split personalities fall, which they're just tab targeting disasters anyway. Repthor close to death right there. Is he going to survive it? He charges in while getting lots of heals. And they're fighting right underneath me once again. As you can see, the flames are flying at Repthor once again. They're really not liking the warrior pressure that's being put on. Lots of range casting except for Repthor and BZ. The Shaman 
is keeping a little bit of a distance as well going in for the hard burst but he's applying his dots at a range and as you know the shaman dps is really relying on the elemental damage that's going to be happening after the dots are applied Durnwin able to free cast off to the side Having the fireball still flying at Repthor, Mr. Studley taking a lot of damage from BZ and Repthor at the moment. Garganto kind of getting in the mix there. Even though he's healing, he's trying to divert a little bit of the pressure off of his teammates it looks like. Repthor being stunned where he stands and applied a look. Oh, the fork lightning is hitting there. Look at the Dom action with the fork lightning hitting mass targets. It's obvious that the mixture of AoE and single target burst damage is is the choices that they're making because they need to choose which are they going to be strongest at with a 5v5 format you know there's going to be a lot of grouping so the the AOE may be a little bit of a better choice at times as you can see the AOE is just landing like crazy right now as the combatants go all into the same area, just the AoE is just hitting the ground and everybody's trying to avoid it at all cost. Reptor getting low right now. Asharna CC'd off to the side. The Doms are making sure that they squirrel her as much as possible. Reptor charging in, trying to put the pressure on the landslide. BZ falling as well. There goes the charge with BZ so he can keep the pressure on the landslide without getting kited so much. And Panic being CC'd over to the side. Reptor once again taking a lot of damage. They seem to be focusing him quite often right now. Are they noticing that he may be a little bit more squishy than the rest or is it just the switches that are making him a good target? Violin being CC'd. Landslide going to 50% health but getting healed up but the pressure is still being put onto him from Repthor. This one seems to be stretching out a little bit longer as the Doms have obviously drained a lot of mana and a lot of energy. So the two minute warning has been given. Mr. Studley taking a lot of damage. Landslide dead off to the side so Mr. Studley getting cleaned up there as well. The focus DPS from Repthor and BZ is putting a lot of pressure on every one of their targets. Dernwin trying to get away from the the focus fire being done to him, but there was just no no hope for him there. Tried to line his sight, but as they pursued him, it was becoming obvious he wasn't going to survive it. Very good match. 3 0. That is game.
So guys, are you ready for a giveaway? Would you guys like to win a Rex or so? Because apparently I've not been doing my giveaway duties and I'm supposed to be giving you guys some stuff. So let's go ahead and give away a Rex. This has been some really good matches. We've only had one go to time limit. And man, just the DPS and heals going around and the Dom action. The Doms are really taking away a lot of the hurt that these guys are able to produce normally. Give away no more PPP forum bans. <laughs> Alright guys. Uh, what I need you to do is leave a comment in the chat there. So just say uh, Grim is the man. Uh, you can say Grim is the guy I subscribe to. Uh, Grim is amazing. Uh, I'm just giving you guys some ideas. You know just uh, put in the chat there. Come on, rain dogs. <laughs> All right, I'll give you guys a minute to make sure that you get a comment in. I don't want any of you guys to miss out on this. But there is a catch. There is a catch. You have to be following this live stream. So if we draw your name and you're not following the live stream, Nightbot will tell me. You know, that guy is just really on top of stuff and he'll go, Grim, this person is not following you. Pick another person. And I hate to do that. I want somebody to win and to get it. So. All right. I'll give you guys about one more minute or so. Leave a comment. Grim has the best Twitter pick ever. <laughs> My Twitter pick is uh, a very good, I guess, display of my inability to grow a good beard. It's always patchy, curly. Call it my skank beard. My facial pubes. <laughs> all right guys we're about to do the giveaway let's go ahead and get a winner here and there is a second catch there is a second catch if you're in the channel and you're just afk i'm going to ask you to answer me back and if you do not answer within like a minute then we're going to have to choose somebody else. Even if you're following the stream, I've got to know that you're watching. You're not one of those people going, hey, I'm just here for the chat PvP. I'm not even watching. Well, if you're not even watching, you don't win a Rex, buddy. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, hopefully you guys are following. Hopefully you guys are watching. And bam. Let's see here. Anticity Rift. Wow, one of the competitors just won a Rex. He is following the live stream. So let me make sure that I get your name written down so I can send you a Twitch message and all that good stuff. Thank you, sir, for competing in the tournaments. You have been amazing. And thank you for being in the live stream as well and following. <laughs> Yes, you are the winner, sir. Thank you for all the support you guys have been doing. All of you competitors that's been uh, really putting it on the line in these tournaments. Man, we can't thank you enough. You guys have just been amazing. Uh, I do I do want to uh, thank a couple of people here. Because in the past, we've had people donate to our tournaments. And even currently, we have people donating to our tournaments. And we need to... Uh, acknowledge those people uh, first off RG thank you RG you gave away an awesome prize pack last time 
Sorry you got banned, man. I'm so sorry, but we unbanned you. You're all right. You hopefully no more trolling, sir. I send RG messages every once in a while going, hey, how do I win in CQ? And he's like, get lost, kid. Uh, all right. Uh, RG is an awesome, awesome donating. Uh, let's see. Rough Raptors gave away a prize pack. And, uh, yeah, I have to thank Rough Raptors a lot. It doesn't look like he's in the chat with us. I guess he had to miss this one, but thank you so much, Rough Raptors, for uh, giving stuff to us for the giveaway last time uh, in the first tournament. And also, Kiwi, for giving away the Hellbug Mount. Thank you so much. Uh, if you guys uh, donate like these people are into the tournament, it's really, really cool of you guys. Uh, also, big thank you to Tryon. Tryon gave away a ton of stuff in the first tournament. What they give away? Like 20, 30,000 credits, something like that. It was insane what they gave away. Um, Ominous Guild, thank you for all the wrecks that you guys have given to this tournament. You are such awesome supporters, and I hope you guys will continue to support us. Uh, yeah, all the competitors are getting wrecks and stuff like that, that uh, I guess in the winning teams and all that. Uh, also, we will have a MVP uh, team, so I'm going to put all four teams. Uh, well, should I put all four? Uh, I'll see if Kaylee approves that. But we're going to, since I don't have another commentator to uh, narrow it down to two teams, I may have to get the okay from Kaylee, but I think we may, uh, we may try to uh, have all four people in a straw poll, all four teams. That way we can declare an MVP and give away some extra wrecks there. Uh, Verity, thank you Verity for donating the Black Garden Key. Thank you so much. Uh, we just bought one for our guild just recently and that's, it was like 500 plat. So man, really good donation. Really, really appreciate it. And also DJ Crystal. DJ Crystal runs SI Radio as you can see right there. It plays a lot of metal and rock and if you guys haven't checked it out at siradio.fm you guys are missing out because it also has a lot of gaming news as well as events and they do just tons of stuff for rift all together and you guys really want to go to that radio station listen to some awesome tunes and yeah listen up on some rift commentating and uh pve and pvp alike and if you guys are interested in ever promoting your guild or event or anything else and want an ad ran on the radio station for everybody to listen to then just email them at cvp at siradio.fm so yeah thank you so much to all of our donators you guys are amazing absolutely amazing so, yeah, go check out the radio station, though. You guys will really enjoy it. I mean, the, the rock and metal is kind of our genre. So, yep. Let's see what the chat is saying now. An orcsy carried by revert. Yeah, unfortunately, DJ Crystal is feeling a little bit bad today. We were hoping to get her to uh, leave a little bit of her comments in the commentary, but yeah, she's not feeling so well today, so. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, both teams have signaled that they are ready. And if you guys are... Well, no. And Orxy says hold on, so... Alright, as you can see, we got Go Hard or Go Home versus 1v1 Owned. So this is going to be an interesting match to say the least. Oh, I better turn around for the fireworks. Yeah, 
And once the match starts, I will get my face out of the way so you guys don't have to look at me. You can actually look at the competitors and listen to my terrible commentary. Haven't seen too many comments about the shirt or my hair or anything like that today. Where are you guys at? Warren says, best match of the night, in my opinion. Possibly. Okay, the fireworks are given, so the match is about to start. Let me go into the game here. Okay. So, they are entering right now with Go Hard or Go Home leading the charge. Oh, and Tisty charging right in but getting stunned right off the bat, so they slowed him down. Viral doing the physician healing, it looks like, so... He's getting pulled all over the place, and Tissy going down really fast. A lot of pressure being put onto him. And he charges in at Nephi. Cupcake, he CC'd off to the side, whereas Nephi is... Yeah, it looks like he's not going with the Tempest. Well, is he Tempest? Yeah, okay, he's still Tempest. It's really interesting that he's running Tempest after all the nerfs. Revert getting pressured now. Is he gone a pyro spec it looks like? Oh, the, wow, look how low he went and the defiler popped ugly on him. And Orxy doing a good job of keeping his team alive. Now the pressure is being put on the Norxy. They're not wanting that to continue, that's for sure. Slow shots being mage caged off to the side. And Norxy getting low in health but jumping right back up at will. It doesn't seem like the pressure is bothering him all that much, but Anticity trying to keep on to him. Well, he's going down in hell, should I say. And Orxy doing a good job of uh, staying off to the side and trying to keep the pressure off of him, but the Mage Cage landed right in time. And Tisty going down to almost 30% health there, but getting healed right back up. Revert also taking a lot of damage. The flames are flying from him, so he's obviously away from the Dom spec now. Slow shots. Oh, slow shots running a little bit of bard action there. Yeah, slow shots running a lot of bard. I'm used to only seeing him as a physician spec, so seeing him swap it up to uh, bard is really interesting. And he goes down to about 50% life right now. And Tisty already dead up into the stands. Revert getting a lot of pressure being done to him. Morgan Naked Stone is really pressuring Revert a lot, but the Defiler Ugly has been popped onto him. And Orxy getting a lot of pressure being put onto him. Doing a good job with the Mage Cage there, but Anorxy isn't doing too well now. The Defiler spec there is seeming to suffer with the single target heals there. And Nephi keeping the Tempest damage going from range. And as you can see, the Charge, tar, charge Pulse flying out as well as the Fireballs from Revert there. Mage Cage on the Naked Stone, keeping him out of the DPS pocket there. Now he's back on the revert with the charge. And as you can see, revert went down. Viral CC'd off to the side, but ganked is being cleaned up now as Go Hard or Go Home seems to have wrapped this one up. It's not completely over as Slow Shots is still alive, but it's looking pretty bad. And Slow Shots goes down.
And it is 1-0 for Go Hard or Go Home. <laughs> Physicians find, LOL. <laughs> Too many cooldown guys. So in between matches we're going to allow them to get their cooldowns back up. So it seems like the physicians are doing amazing right now as pretty much has been uh, predicted by most people. The Even the comments on the forums they were all saying the physicians were going to run rampant. And, but you got to realize that Cupcakey's Heels is also keeping her team alive. Rigged and Norks can't lose. <laughs> Blame the forum banner? What? Physician needs a buff. Clerics are much better. Yeah, since that is the champion team, I mean, we're basically seeing the match off off of two champion teams right now. I mean, uh, Go Hard or Go Home is comprised of mainly the same three of the same people that won the 3v3 tournament in the first Godlike Arena. So, yeah, you got a champion team there, and then uh, 1v1 owned, of course, won the last uh, the last tournament. So, yeah. Oh, I I know Warren. I I know the sarcasm, but I'm at least reading your your comments, even if it is sarcasm. Explain how seventeen thousand men is way more than one hundred energy. Yeah. Physicians with defiler links because they aren't tanky enough. Sounds pretty nasty to put it plainly. Nerf sin remove slip away. Alright, let's see here. Go hard or go home is signaled that they are ready, so we're waiting on 1v1 owned. Oh, and they have given the okay too, so there goes the fireworks, and we are going into the game. As you can see, Anticity charges right in, probably going to, yep, there goes the charge and the stun. They're making sure that they're stopping him with that first stun, because they're not wanting the pressure to be put on to somebody too early on, and... Yeah, if you hit first, you most likely are going to have a jump on the other team and possibly could sway the a fast death. Cupcake, you getting pressured quite a bit right now, but seems to be doing pretty well with the bunny hopping. Ganked, putting a lot of pressure on to Cupcakey. And Tisty getting pressured by Morg, so we're seeing some... Pretty cool DPS on DPS action going on over there. And Kayla has told me that we can put all four teams into the MVP uh, voting. So you guys will determine which team wins the MVP. It does not have to be the winning team or anything like that. We would almost prefer it not to be the winning team, but it's up to you guys to vote. At the end of the tournament, we will put a straw poll with all four teams onto it, and you guys will vote who you think gave it the best effort. And, yeah, they're all going to win some wrecks. Courtesy of Ominous the Guild on Seastone. Without their support, we wouldn't be able to do this awesome MVP award. As you can see, Cupcakey is being pressured a lot by Anticity and ganked. Morg is trying to pull off a little bit of the pressure off of Cupcakey. And, oh, CC on to gank there. 
the heels from Enorxy and Antisti goes down. The Warrior is out of this match. He got B rest. He is back in it. Seems like the most pressure being done right now is on the cupcake. -y. Her life bar is falling faster than everybody else's. Oh, she got really low there, but popped the full heel. But going right back down. Is she going to be able to survive all this pressure? Naked Stone and team are trying to peel off a cupcake, -y, but it's not doing very well because Ganked is still on her. Ganked and Antisti are not letting up on Cupcakey one bit. As you can see, Morg was CC'd off to the side. Nephi keeping the range. Tempest attacks going. Cupcakey still being pressured. It doesn't seem like any hard switches are going just yet. It's all on the Cupcakey. And Orxy starting to take some damage off to the side. Going to have to focus on himself instead of his allies for once. And Tisty getting really low right now. Morg being CC'd and to get a little bit of the pressure off of Antisty. As you can see, Cupcakey, it's just the story of how long she can survive and if she can endure until the DPS of 1v1 own can be able to be brought down. And Tisty and Ganked is just not letting up on Cupcakey one bit. And as you can see, Revert went into the split personality. So the Dom draining is going to be running rampant right now. Trying to slow down the healers on the Go Hard or Go Home team. And Tisty being focused a lot. As you can see, the health bar going down very fast but able to be healed up. Antisti taking a lot of damage still. Morg is not letting up on Antisti. It's obvious the call was to get Antisti off of Cupcakey at all cost. And oh, Antisti almost went down. The DPS just switched onto him hard. And down goes Antisti. That was the story of this match. How long can Cupcakey endure and would it be long enough to get some of the DPS from 1v1 owned down? As you can see, ganked using the slip away there. No pressure being put on the Cupcakey anymore. All pressure being put on the revert. Slow shots taking some damage, but seems to be all right. Nephi being CC'd by Revert. Gank taking a lot of damage, and he goes down. Viral doing a very good job of the physician healing. Revert being targeted by Morg right now and taking a lot of damage. Naked Stone switches to him too and Nephi contributes towards the death. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up and Norxy and slow shots. And slow shots bother doesn't bother to cast anything. He basically knows his fate and goes down. Great match. 2-0 for the Go hard or go home team already. Wow, this is a battle of champions here. Very good match. So, how do you guys enjoy that one? This match is just insane.
It's like you're looking at somebody be full life and then all of a sudden they're dead instantly. As soon as that hard switch happens, I mean, they, they maybe keep somebody on that one person to get their health a little bit low, but really not make you think that the the threat is all that high. And then the hard switch happens and bam, they go down. All that DPS is just switched over to that one person that got a little bit low and yeah. Very good tactics being done. Now I imagine the CCs are being done onto the healers at all times there. Uh, it is 2-0 for Go Hard or Go Home, which is... I will read the team name for you. It is Cupcakey, Viral, Morg, Naked Stone, and Nephi. The tournament is rigged and Norks can't lose. <laughs> so, go hard or go home only needs to win one more time, but there is still another match to be determined here. 1v1 own can come back and once again like I said even though 1v1 uh, 1v1 owned might lose this one if they do lose it it's still not over for them because we are going on a point system since it's a 5v5 tournament where it's a little bit different than the 3v3 stuff so make sure that you go to uh, the riftpvpdimensions.com and check out the rules if you guys are unclear on it The excuses are running rampant, huh? Yeah, I'm really in. Uh, if you guys watch my videos, you know that I just recently made a Tempest video. And because I was giving Tempest another run, uh, I was like, surely Tryon hasn't nerfed it that much to where it's absolutely unusable. So I went ahead and ran some Warfronts with it. And yeah, I was killing lots of people with Tempest. Uh, so who knows? I mean, it, it was very obviously much, much weaker than it used to be. I mean, uh, everybody knows that, but it still seemed viable. Uh, how viable? I don't know. I know I was getting good kills, but then again, it could be just the matches or whatever. So yeah, I was killing usually between 15, 20 people and very rarely ever dying. All right, and the next match is underway. This is game three versus go hard or go home versus 1v1 owned. Champion versus champion match here, and the pr and the match is underway here. Let's see, a slow shots running his. Okay, I'm I kind of got diverted off to Norxy taking so much damage there. I was about to start examining slow shots and his build, but. Yeah, Nephi going down to 40% life and shooting right back up, but man, a lot of pressure being put onto him from Anticity. Cupcakey trying to keep her teammate alive there. And Orxy going low, really low. Is Orxy going to go down? Look at the pressure being put onto her. Down goes Anorxy, the first person dead of this match, and slow shots was mage caged off to the side. Battle res is up on Anorxy. Oh, my face is in it. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Anorxy once again getting pressured. They're trying to make sure that she goes down before the buffs come up. The battle res of... Well... They don't lose buffs anymore. So, okay, that, that comment is not valid anymore. If you guys are familiar with the recent changes, death does not make your buffs go away. You have to have your buffs stripped. So, yeah, it's not the same thing anymore. Ganked goes down and revert goes down. It's looking like a 3-0 sweep by go hard or go home. And slow shots goes down. 
and Tisty being the only one left alive. So it is a 3-0 win for Go Hard or Go Home. And that's the first time that we've seen uh, 1v1 owned take a loss like that. Wow, that was a really good game there, man. Those two teams are just so tough. Now, now, like I said, just because 1v1 owned has a loss now does not mean they are out of this. They can still win this tournament on points. So if you're rooting for that team, they are still in it. And game five will be between Team Landslide and Team Go Hard or Go Home. So they're going to have to fight two times in a row here. You guys' comments. I can't repeat what you guys are saying, but, you know, it's just crazy the stuff that you guys say. Makes me laugh. Now, as some of you know, I was supposed to have a co-commentator with me, which was going to be Torrid. Unfortunately, he had some stuff come up, and he sent me a message saying he's sorry that he didn't make it on time. And I'm sure you guys would have loved to hear his commentary, and I could have used the assisting, that's for sure. You know, I was hoping somebody would be able to click on the names and look at the buffs, because I don't want to spend the UI screen for you guys, so I unfortunately have to do a little bit of guessing. Hopefully everything's going all right with Torrid, and perhaps he can make it for a future event. And Aloe Jill is asking for the teams to let him know whenever they are ready. But until they are ready, won't you check this out? This is a YouTube channel that is known by a really famous YouTuber. This guy is amazing. If you have not checked out his channel, you definitely need to because you will love it. It is full of PvP action and only PvP action except for a leveling video. So the ready signs are being given and uh, Go Hard or Go Home is ready. And let's go ahead and go back to the screen because I'm sure all of you have already subscribed to my channel because you are amazing people <laughs> they're doing the fireworks back there to throw me off mean mean people I'm full of PvP action lol is that an insult, sir? Or are you being sarcastic towards me? If you wonder if I'm a PvPer, just check out that channel. It'll answer all doubts. It seems like Violin is AFK at the moment and has to get something done or I'm not sure, but we're waiting on Violin, whatever the reason being. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate the compliments. Everybody that watches my videos and says good things towards me, I love every one of you. And I wish to bear your children in the future.
You love Viral most. Viral is a very, very cool guy. I really enjoy his channel, and I hope every one of you go check him out as well. He is a very, very good rogue and provides lots of gameplay and uh, guides for rogues of all specs. Come on now, if you tell Daglar he's screwing up Rift, you know you're going to get banned, sir. That's just basically calling the boss, well, he's the boss of the game, so he kind of decides your fate on the forums. If, if you tell him bad stuff, he might do bad stuff back. Oh, uh, come on, Avelis. You don't want to get banned. After all, you're a very skilled player in this game. You need to keep at it and keep showing us how it's done. I can't keep saying that, Avelis. If you say you're going to leave the game, you know, I'm promoting a guy that doesn't want to play with me anymore. Doesn't want to play in the game anymore. Oh, are we ready? Yes, the fireworks are underway. Finally, we can get this match going and get some kills in and watch everybody die. Landslide, coming out with the Dom action right off the bat, is it? Mr. Studley, wow, Mr. Studley goes down immediately. What? The energy in mana was high and the DPS was insane. <laughs> and Derwin goes down. Wow. Landslide down now. This is a fast sweep. They got the incredible DPS burst off onto Mr. Studley right off the bat. And he's back up, but he's back down. So... Wow, the this is an insane match right here. They came out blasting the heat and the the fire was just too hot. Amazing job by go hard or go home. Panic off to the side and goes down as well there. That was an insane display of damage right there. What are we seeing, guys? That was crazy. Nerf viral. LOL. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, Viral is very strong. And if you're curious about uh, his specs and all that, be sure to check out his channel. He's the guy that I regularly send messages to and say, Hey, teach me to play my rogue a little bit better. And he goes, Yeah, get lost. That's why I love Viral. He is my idol.
Well, you're just all compliments. I am a new guy, and I like it, sir. I like it. We are in the two minute cooldown period. As you can see, it is 1 0 for go hard or go home. That was a crazy, crazy first match. Buff Pyro. Mr. Theus is a better rogue than Viral. All he plays is Marksman these days, isn't it? I know I know everybody talks that he used to play uh, melee D DPS rogue but now he plays marksman all the time I believe by the the forum posts that I've seen buff corpse explosion he plays everything okay All right, uh, go hard or go home is signaling that they are ready. So we're just waiting on the other team and the fireworks to be displayed and then we will turn around. He's good at running away. Well, most PvPers are good at good running away or else they'll have very high deaths. I imagine there's a lot of older PvPers that are very good, but I imagine there's a lot of newer ones that are very good, and we're seeing lots of them being displayed here today. Most PvPers have, do have very high deaths. Yeah, I guess we all have our bad matches. All right, the fireworks has been displayed, and right off the bat, viral being squirreled and CC'd. Landslide goes down. What are we watching, guys? What is going on right here? Landslide is back up, but oh my gosh, the instant death. I guess that's the difference that we run into once we change it from 3v3 to 5v5. It's easier to stack the DPS and landslide goes down once again. Derwin obviously going with the Harbinger spec there. Probably mixing in the Chloro to have a little more survivability. The pressure that was being put onto him whenever he was running a pyro hybrid it looked like was a little bit too much and... Yeah, Derwin goes down now. And it's just... Panic. Off to the side. Mage Cage and everybody sitting around waiting to act like piranhas going towards the meat. Insane. Absolutely insane. That was, it, it's just incredible DPS that's being uh, displayed there. But as uh, Rain Dogs is pointing out, Landslide and them helped us out a tremendous amount by putting together this team and filling in last minute. We were actually only at three teams because we had somebody, uh, Avelis' team had to drop out for real life reasons. So we were only going to have three matches here tonight. And... Yeah, since Landslide helped us out and put together this team last second, try to get some strategies, try to get their comps a little bit right. Yeah, they they helped us out so much by filling in the fourth team last second, and we can't thank them enough. And it, it, it kind of sucks that they're a little bit struggling right now, but we appreciate it. We appreciate you guys helping out so much.
<laughs> Team Landslide signals that they do not need a break. He says, we going to kill them. Alright, so I imagine this match is about to start real fast. Go Hard or Go Home has signaled that they are ready and we are going into the match. Fireworks are being displayed, so that means everybody's going to be charging in here. Landslide at the front of the team here. And has he went with a melee spec? Violin going down to 50% life right now. Landslide charging in, trying to put pressure on the violin. And violin goes down. Well, that wasn't pressure on violin. That was... Landslide's own team. Sorry, you guys. Commentated that one a little wrong. And Dernwin going down as well. Yeah, the DPS is just insane from this team here. And... And once again, panic over here to die last. absolute insane display of DPS on that team and it's obvious that they tried to tweak a little bit for more survivability so yeah yeah thank you so much landslide for uh, taking part in this tournament last second <laughs> Team Viral. So the next matchup will be Team Broken versus 1v1 Owned. And if you guys have forgotten who is on those teams, 1v1 owned is an Orxy, a Cleric, Ganked, a Rogue, Slow Shots, Rogue, Revert, Mage, Antisti, Warrior. And the opposite team from Broken is Garganto, which is a Cleric, uh, Asharna, which is a Rogue, Hostile Apostle, a Mage, BZ, a Warrior, and Reptor, a Warrior. This should be a really good match as well. The The focus fire that Broken has been able to utilize has been really, really good. I cannot wait to see this match. So guys, are you having some fun? Are you enjoying what's going on? How's it going, Nature Boy? I, I watched one of your videos where you guys were yelling out my name. I thought it was so funny. You may not have known that you were doing it, but I noticed it. Hello, Joe is asking for whenever both teams are ready to signal to him that the matches are ready to go and he will start them. Right now, neither team has signaled that they are ready, though. Oh, yeah. I hope you guys love PvP. This is what it's all about.
<laughs> the viral love going on in chat. Once again, guys, if you have not sent somebody from the Ominous Guild a tell yet, they are on Sea Stone. Make sure that you tell them that they are amazing for helping us out with the prizes. And if you guys are ever interested in helping out with the tournament, such as commentating or uh, prizes or anything, please let Kalia at Deepwood or Aloe Gel at Deepwood know about it. That way we can get some of you guys involved. And we would love to promote you guys. Oh, it looks like match is underway. The fireworks are being displayed. That means both teams are about to charge in. Let's see here. Repthor and BZ both being CC'd by Revert. The Dom is running wild over there trying to keep the CCs going where the pressure is being applied over here by Ganked and Antisti onto Garganto. Slow shots, free casting, uh, his physician heals off to the side. No pressure being put on him whatsoever. Repthor and BZ being chain CC'd as much as possible and Norxy trying to keep Revert alive. The pressure is being put on to Garganto now as well. Antisti and Gank both swarming the DPS onto him. Look at the squirreling that's going on there. Repthor and uh, BZ are being squirreled over and over again. Mage Cage being put onto a Sharna off to the side. Heals by a Norxy looking like it's keeping his team alive and well. Garganto getting really low in health now though. Revert going into split personalities and applying the energy and mana drains. And Norxy being CC, BZ being CC'd as well as Repthor. A lot of Dom action going on. Asharna is free casting off to the side without any pressure being applied to her whatsoever. Is this going to be a story of the Doms once again? Oh, Garganto goes down. Wow. As soon as his health bar appeared, all of a sudden he was down. BZ and Repthor CC'd once again. Hostile Apostle trying to get a little bit of the pressure off of him, but the, the kiting is just not working with Antisti and Ganked applying so much pressure. I imagine the bleeds and the poisons are going crazy on Hostile Apostle right now. Repthor at three quarters live being CC'd as well. Looked like a stun was applied to him. It looked like he broke free of it though. Hostile Apostle going down really fast. Repthor going down really fast but the heals are keeping him up. CC'd onto Repthor, but he is really low in health right now. Are they going to capitalize on it? No, they seem to be focusing on BZ, and he goes down. Splitting up the heals between the two main DPS caused a real big problem with the heals on the opposite team. Asharna taking a lot of damage from Antisti and ganked right now. And down goes Asharna. Repthor squirreled and yeah, he's going to fight until the last moment. But he goes down. That is a win for 1v1 owned. And the first bout of this matchup is in the books. You think the squirrels are the number one PvPers? Like I've been saying, guys, 
make sure that you go to siradio.fm for all of your music needs and also these are big riff players you will see well hear lots of stuff about rift on these radio stations and as you can see at the top it shows who is on air at that given moment so all you have to do is go to siradio.fm and click on the on air at the top and listen to whoever is live and yeah it's going to be lots of rock and metal music and lots of rift commentary so and they do lots of events as well so you guys really need to get into that and if you're interested in advertising on the radio station be sure to email them at cvp at siradio.fm You only see one viewer. Hopefully that's more than what we got. Ban hammer strikes again? What? Shouldn't be anybody getting banned unless Nightbot bans you. Which that means that you are spamming caps. And I don't think he bans anybody. He times out people. Yes, we do plug any anybody that supports us. If they support us as PvPers, we'll support them on anything they do. No matter if they're PvE or PvP, we will support you if you support us. And it looks like the ready sign is being given by both teams right now. So I imagine the, yep, there goes the fireworks and let's go right into it. As both char uh, teams are charging in, Antisti goes right into Garganto and Repthor seems to be getting knocked back there. The mage cage on Asharna there, whereas the DPS is being applied to Garganto. Antisti and Ganked applying a lot of pressure. Repthor trying to peel off. But he's getting CC'd. The Dom CC's are running rampant there. Revert being squirreled himself. But it looks like... Yes, he is definitely running Dom. <laughs> I was about to speculate on that. But then the split personalities hit. As you can see, slow shots casting away off to the side. Physician Soul running rampant there. Garganto taking a lot of damage and about to go down, and he does go down. Revert taking some damage, but not too bad with the Norxy healing him. And, as you can see, Repthor CC'd off to the side there. They're really doing a good job of keeping the focus DPS of BZ and Repthor off. And there you see Ganked and Antisti put the, the nail in the coffin to Hostile Apostle. Beezy taking a lot of damage. Yes, and he goes down. The heals were being applied, but as you can see, Asharna is CC'd off to the side. Reptor is taking a lot of damage as well here. He is down to, yeah, he's down to nothing now. Asharna goes down as the last one, and that is a 2-0 win so far. Really good job by 1v1 owned so far. 2-0 lead and possibly sweeping this match. We'll have to see.
And we're in the two minute cooldown and look at people dueling right in front of us here. <laughs> Are the matches happening early right in front of our eyes outside the arena? Alojel is asking for each team to let him know when ready so we can get this next match underway. <laughs> Thinks I'm handsome. Are you single? What? I play Rift all the time, sir. I've got no time for relationships. It's gaming 24-7 in this household. Can't be a hardcore PvP -er unless you put in a good 20 hours a day. And then you still get called not a PvP. -er. <laughs> Rift is greater than relationships. So true, sir. So true. Garganto's team has signaled that they are ready, so we'll probably be going in just one second soon as the other team acknowledges that they are ready. And the dueling is going on below, or random attacks, one or the other. All right, so there goes the fireworks. That means I've got to turn around and put on a show for you guys to watch. One v one own came in a little bit cautious there that time, as Reptor and team charged straight in. Garganto taking a lot of damage right there. They He went down to almost 40% life, but got healed right back up. And he's at, wow, 30% and shot right back up. So they are applying a lot of DPS to him, but he's seeming to barely survive every time. If you can burst somebody down to 30% life almost instantly, the final 30% isn't much more to go. And, yep, there it is. So Garganto goes down. And Norxy taking a lot of damage right now from BZ and Repthor. And BZ getting really low in life right now. He's fighting for his life trying to kite but he goes down. And the CC is being put on the slow shots. Revert taking a lot of fire damage. Where is the gank being CC'd there? And yeah, this is Hostile Apostle down as well now. Repthor being cleaned up right now, so. And Asharna, last but not least, as everybody stands around and watches a couple people DPS are down. Wow, 3-0 win by 1v1 gank, 1v1 owned, which is gank's team. I shouldn't say 1v1 gank. Very cool, very cool. A rift can't even render five people in. Sometimes, sometimes. All right, so do we have the first, second, and third place teams now? All 
All right, so we are going to do a straw poll. Uh, let's see here. Can I get closer? I uh, may have to get even closer in order to get all the teams in. Okay, we got Go Hard or Go Home is in first place with three wins. Let me get this straw poll up for you guys. All right, here we go. Create a poll. And let's put this into the chat here. So you guys, please all go to this straw poll and vote for the team that you think is the MVP. 1v1 owned got second place with two wins and broken with third place with one win. Very good job by all competitors. We really appreciate you guys playing. And we will be doing another giveaway in just a moment, guys. Which... You know, why don't we go really big with this next giveaway? Go to the straw poll and submit your... Submit your vote. But we will be giving away a Dream Soul Bundle. And here is the link once again for anybody that may have missed it. Well, it looks like the, re the voting is a little bit close at the beginning. 1v1 owned is starting to get more votes right now. 56% of the votes is at 1v1 owned so far. Make sure you guys are going to vote. And I believe the winning team is going to be joining me in Ventrilo right now to discuss their win. I think the voting is pretty much decisive here. We've got 1v1 owned with 54% of the votes already. Whoa. What's up? How's it going, Ganked and Morg? Good. So, how do you enjoy your tournament here? You guys did really well getting into, uh, well, Ganked got into second place and Moore got into first. What seemed to be the, the problems with the other matchups for you guys? Let's start with Ganked. Uh, um, you mean specifically against which team? Well, yeah, what, what really stuck out as uh, one of the things that kind of decided how you guys were switching. What was causing you guys the most problems? Well, I would say the just based on the first matchup we had against Land's team, it's awesome that those guys hopped in. Um, the two-physician thing is definitely difficult. So, just saying that. Um, whether that's a balance thing or a comp thing, I don't know. Um, but the two physician thing is definitely extremely difficult because our team is based on mana draining and you can't mana drain a physician. Yeah. So that's very difficult. Um, and I think that, uh, the three DPS that, uh, Morg and Cupcakey's team had is just, was just too much for what we, what we had. Uh, they hit us like a truck. They did a great job. I mean, the, even not even attacking a healer, us just standing there and healing, we couldn't do anything about it. 
just way too much damage. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what, before I switch over to Morg with the same question, what spec was you mainly running ganked? I did three or four. I, I did two or three sin specs and uh, physician wrist stalker spec. We tried to do the uh, physician bard uh, with, with slow shot as bard for uncleansable sleeps. And uh, it usually works pretty well. I mean, we used it in that last that last round of the tournament there, that last match, and it worked fine. But, I mean, they focused the DPS and still were able to do it just because their damage is really high. PvE weapons certainly help, but, I mean, ultimately, their damage is just way higher than ours. Yeah. So, Morg, what seemed to be the problem for your team the most? I mean, what was the things that was causing your team problems, but it seemed like you guys were able to overcome anything that you encountered? Well, uh, I would like to say that the two warriors carried the awful knife blade damage. <laughs> So what spec were you running mainly, Morg? Uh, in every single match I was running, Night. Alright. So, <laughs> not giving yourself enough credit, huh? No, Nightblade is very underpowered. It's been underpowered for a long time. It needs a buff. Yeah. So, Landslide, thank you for filling in at the last minute. We were almost in dire straits if it wasn't for you forming a team last minute and getting in here and helping us out. How was your experience with this tournament? Uh, you know, uh, I, I got my butt kicked, but I had a pretty good time, man. And, uh, you know, I'm always happy to support anybody who wants to do something like this when I can. Um, you know, <laughs> we did kind of get together last minute, so we kind of, we, we didn't really have a game plan or know what we were doing. We were just trying to find five people and uh, kind of, figure out what we we're going to do so we, we tried a whole bunch of different stuff which uh i thought was a good experience for us you know uh that was only the second time i've ever done anything like this before and uh it's kind of funny that the situation was exactly the same Some, somebody had dropped out last minute and i think it was one that hostile was running back in the day sometime early last year and uh you know it was fun man i, I enjoyed it you know i like stuff like this yeah we really appreciate you filling in the way that you did. So Garganto, what was your experience with this? You were doing insane heals, but yeah, it seemed like you were getting pressured all the time. Yeah, I mean, that, that pressure was just insane. I mean, hands down to Nephi and, uh, Nephi and Naked Stone and their crew. I mean, that was just pretty crazy. and. I mean, we had, we had a lot of fun. We got our, again, we got our butts kicked, but a lot of fun. Uh, I love competitive PvP. Uh, we were a little ill-prepared. Uh, we're a brand new team. I mean, we've only ran together for the last two nights in preparation. Kind of a last-minute thing, but, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. And, yeah, congratulations to the guys who competed and won. And good. Yeah, thank you so much for competing with us as well as Garganto. It was really nice seeing you guys PvP. And I hope you guys will come back for a future one as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, any kind of final thoughts from you guys? I mean, you really did good jobs out here. And, you know, you're supporting the PvP community a lot. And we can't say enough good things about you guys competing over and over like all of you seem to be doing. All right, well, uh, with all too serious this time, I do thank you for putting this together. Uh, you put a lot of work into this arena, and it, it really showed. I mean, the teams that came here, you guys were all great. And I uh, really applaud Landslide's team for and uh, Garganto. Um, and in particular, Landslide, because he kind of put this all together at the very last minute. And came in here and fought. Yeah, definitely. So, who all is going to be in the next one? Are all of you guys planning on competing in the next one? Or are you going to take a break? Or what's going on? Are we going to get to see all of you guys in it again? Oh, I'll be there. Oh, I'm sure to see us. We need a rematch. 
Maybe a different comp. Maybe a different comp. I, I would love to find a team. I don't know why it's so hard to find people to get together and just have a Somebody had well, some speakers. Thanks, thanks, Somebody had some speakers with speakers. Yeah, I got some serious reverb there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I like this stuff. It's fun. You know, I, I wish people were less scared about losing and more interested in just coming in to have a good time. You know, that, that's what it should really be about, you know? And, uh, you know, so what if you're not the best? You're only going to get better the more that you play. So, uh, you know, come in, have some fun, please. You know, most people are very appreciative that you just came and, and went out and, you know, play you know that's that's what i like to do absolutely yep you, you can't get better if you don't play i completely agree with landslide agreed and now we're getting a different kind of competitive formats for you guys that normally you have to kind of try to display all of your abilities whether it's in warfront or conquest or whatever kind of scale you like to do but now we're able to do the 5v5s and the 3v3s so that you can kind of define a whole different aspect of the gameplay which I know a lot of you guys really enjoy this smaller scale PvP the way that it is. So I guess this yeah, we is... Love this. I mean... Oh go ahead Garganto. I was just gonna say I mean back back in the day I PvP with a lot of these guys we see here uh, smaller scale is a lot of fun. It kind of disappeared for a while, and I really appreciate Allo and yourself getting together, everybody coming and making it competitive and keeping it good. So, thank you guys. Thank all. Yeah, thank you guys so much for competing, and we will be doing another one just shortly. Watch the forums, guys, and make sure that you're paying attention to the next tournament because we are not letting up on this, and it's only going to get better every time. Uh, I'm sure you guys have noticed a very big uh, improvement in the broadcasting and everything that we're doing. So hopefully it'll continue to get better and better. And, you know, I hope you guys just keep keep doing it. That way we can keep it going. Oh, I guess we are going to go into the last giveaway. So let me know in the chat. Do you guys want to win a Dream Soul Bundle? And make sure that you're leaving a comment in the chat so that you can win. And if you are not following the channel, you will be declared a loser. And you do not want that to happen. Alright. Leave a comment in the chat. But while you guys are filling in your comments and making sure that you're following and all of that good stuff... I want to make sure that you guys are going to SIRadio.fm and listening to good music there. Make sure that you send a tale to anybody in the Ominous Guild and tell them that they're awesome for supporting us. And Verity, thank you so much, Verity, for sending us the Black Garden Key. And DJ Crystal, you know, we're, we're promoting your radio station because you've helped us so much with this tournament with providing all of the the platinum and everything else and also riftgreat.com guys if you have not been to riftgreat.com make sure you go there they've always promoted our tournament and they are amazing with the rift news so if you've never been there go there you will be pleasantly surprised all right let's go ahead and do this giveaway and like i said if you are the winner you must respond back to me or else I'm going to have to uh, not give you the prize. All right. Uh, the the MVP, I must say the MVP also was uh, 1v1 gank. Uh, 1v1 owned. I keep on saying gank because that's the guy I'm talking to, the team lead. So it is 1v1 owned, oh, got the MVP award. So that is the winner there. Congratulations. Yes, Congrats, and, yeah. and you are the proud new owner of another Rex. All right, let's do the giveaway right now for the Dream Soul Bundle, generously donated by the people that are running this entire tournament and putting on all this crazy work, Aloe Gel and Kalia. So, bam, the next giveaway starts right now. 
And the winner is Zolit. <laughs> this feels rigged because he's in my guild. Uh, Zolit wins. And respond back, Zolit. The, apply, the rules do apply to you, sir. You must respond back to the, the winning announcement there. And let me know that you are in the chat. And you are following the channel. So that's the first step. There he goes. He responded back. So that is the winner of the contest. And that pretty much wraps up this 5v5 tournament. As you can see, the winners are up there on the podiums. We had a very exciting match. Well, many matches between many great PVPers. And that was very fun to watch, guys. You guys are really exciting to watch. We only had one match even go to time limit, and there was still kills in that one match. So, yeah, really good stuff. All right, guys. I guess that's what we're going to wrap up. Uh, we do need to let you guys know uh, we always promote other people, so do not ever think that we don't promote other people. We are – there is another 3v3 tournament being hosted by – uh, Kiwi Dream and I believe Nurse and some others. Uh, yeah, White Lady. White Lady is the other one. And yeah, go and support their thread in the PvP forums and go ahead and yeah, sign up for that. We promote everybody that does PvP. So thank you guys, and we will see you at the next godlike arena and we will be sending a dream soul bundle to Zolid and mvp awards and everything else and thank you guys at all godlike awesomeness putting on everything giving away all these prizes everything amazing 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 and last but not least look at that channel right there there is a little bit of awesomeness to be had on that youtube channel be sure that you go to that address and you subscribe you will find lots of PvP action, and I will try to get interviews with each one of these teams. I hope that 1v1 owned and uh, the Virals team and Cupcakey and everybody is willing to do interviews with me and share some of your specs and some of your uh, abilities to kill people so that I can make good videos about it. sure <laughs> all right guys yeah. uh take care everyone and i will be sending you guys some tales within the next day or two that's for sure all right take care guys gonna cut off the live stream now and see you at the next godlike arena all right take it easy brother can i get